Welcome back. This is Phil Biadrone here with Ken Sanders. And my next question for you is about your writing. There are a lot of themes, I guess I could say, that appear in a lot of your films, a lot of motifs. And uh, one of them that sort of drew me in was uh, something at 17. You know, there's maybe three or four titles that have, you know, pregnant or married at 17. So what's this magical number? <laughs> no, number? but that's a good idea. Pregnant at 17? Oh, yeah, we haven't done that one yet. Oh, well. <laughs> Creative consultant, exactly. <laughs> right, right. right here, give that credit. Um, so, what's the significance of that, and um, what are some of the themes that appear in your writing? <laughs> you know, the the at seventeen um, series of films that I've done. Uh, it, it, I don't know. I sort of stumbled into that. I mean, it was uh, uh, we we didn't make the first one when we met, when we made the first one that was called Accused at Seventeen. That wasn't even the title that we had originally on that film. Uh, it, it just so happened that uh, at the time that we were getting ready to sell the film, uh, we, we were asked to come up with another title, and I heard from various people involved in the project, you know, we love the number 17, you know, that had been used on another title that had been successful, and maybe you could use it on this film. And so I came up with a list of, you know, probably 35 different variations of 17. And uh, then accused at seventeen ultimately was what was uh, mm. picked, uh, and uh, and then that that film became very successful, uh, and that spawned a whole bunch of other at seventeens, um, and uh, and so I you know I, I, wound, I wound up becoming the at seventeen guy. I never would have believed you know five or ten years ago that I would be you know making so many movies about. Uh, uh, slightly homicidal 17-year-old girls, but hey, you know, uh, you, it's it's all good. But uh, they're <laughs> they, they all kind of <laughs> they all tend to involve <laughs> these slightly uh, uh, nefarious uh, teenage girls preying on other teenage girls. But but you know the the, uh, the 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 thing about those films though is I I, I think that we've been able to we've been able to uh, make those films feel very contemporary. Uh, you know, they, they, uh, a, lot of, a lot of them feel kind of ripped from the headlines. We'll, we'll riff off of something that, uh, you know, that's in the news, you know, whether it's uh, uh, the, 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 you know, for instance, uh, Betrayed at 17 uh, uh, dealt, dealt with a girl who was being cyber bullied uh, sexually and yeah. all this stuff. And so we were able to take that and, and say something about that issue, about the issue of uh, uh, how teenagers are, you know, abusing uh, uh, modern uh, uh, technology and bullying and, and all of this, uh, and uh, and then we've touched on subjects such as you mentioned, uh, you know, uh, girls becoming uh, pregnant, teenage pregnancy, and these other sorts of things. So, um, so I think we've we've managed to make make it feel uh, make make that series very relatable, and uh, uh, so. Um, you know, we'll see. Maybe there'll be a few more in my future. Speaking to re relatable. Yeah. Speaking to relatable, who would be your demographic, your key demographic for those 17 films? You know, what the, what the 17 films do, which I think is really great, is that they invite mothers and daughters to watch them together. And they invite mothers and daughters to have conversations about the issues that are being raised in those films. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I've, I've read a few things uh, um, that people have written about those films uh, from, from mothers, you know, saying that, uh, you know, this, this, this was a film that allowed me to broach a subject with my daughter about uh, the potential, uh, um, uh, you know, harm that can come from sending out texts or sending out emails that has this or has that, whatever the subject might be, you know. Uh, uh, the, so, so in that sense, uh, I, I think that they, those films appeal to the young demographic and, and, a, and a slightly older demographic, so it brings in everybody, and that's why they've been very successful. Yeah, I congratulate you. That's great work. Thank you. I'll have another question for you in a moment.